everybody, it's Brian with you from the Gamecom, and we are playing some more Civilization 6. So the Spring 2018 patch dropped today, and I couldn't be more excited to actually be playing some more Civ 6. So there was a little bit of debate in my brain about who we were going to play as, and I think ultimately I think I've decided we're going to play as Victoria. She was recently buffed in this patch. Uh, they also buffed uh, Tamer, and they buffed like three different Civs. They buffed, buffed their custom units. I know it was Norway, Tamer. Uh, Georgia and I don't remember who the third one was basically they made their units cheaper to produce and um, a little better in damage uh, they bought uh, Victoria because now anytime you found or construct a Royal Naval dockyard you'll get a free unit if if that city is not on your original continent so we'll go as Victoria I kind of didn't want to play as Victoria only from the standpoint of I feel like this could um, um, turn into another Rome campaign where hey we're trying to do a culture victory but then we ended up just uh, going straight uh, warfare and it took forever but you know we'll see we'll see we're actually gonna be playing on deity difficulty and I'm gonna be doing island plates uh, and let's do standard so the reason for island plates is hopefully that's gonna give us a lot of different um, locations or a lot of different continents because we want as many continents as possible with Victoria um, I'm a little worried about these just being super snaky so that's why we're gonna keep um, our sea level on standard maybe almost want to go down to low but now nah, i think we'll keep it on standard we'll keep it we'll be fine we'll f be fine i've also been playing a lot on deity recently in my own time just working on our builds uh early game builds and so i think i have one that's gonna go well for us but um i'm gonna hit start game and i'm gonna let sean bean do his thing and then i'll pop in as soon as the game's loaded all right so like i mentioned my plan is going to be to go for a cultural victory the one thing that might suck for us is if we have any enemy uh, AI civs near us. So one of the things we're going to be doing is we're going to be rushing out slingers and we're going to be bum rushing to get to archery as quick as possible. The reasons for that is I just don't want to get overrun by any enemy AI early on. Let's take a quick look. We actually have a 2-2 tile here, which is not bad. We actually have a lot of decent production and decent food around here. So the jungle tiles are pretty helpful. Also going to be helpful if we want to go with the campus district. Um, um, we have a potential, eh, we don't really have a good harbor spot over here. I was actually wondering about going way over here to put our city down. I think staying over here and grabbing the early bonuses. The other thing is too, we can actually rip up both of, um, well, we can start tearing down these forests early on if we want to build a wonder. And if we're going to go a culture victory, it might be worth it to just bum rush for the Oracle. And the reason uh, for it is the one culture, one faith is like, eh, especially since we're not going to be doing faith. Uh, however, the plus two great person points of their type uh, for any district in that city is awesome. So if we throw down a uh, Early cultural district we can start grabbing great writers great artists great stuff like that And that's gonna be really good for us if we're going the cultural uh, Gameplay, so yeah, let's go ahead and found here. I think that's fine uh, You need animal husbandry. So that's what we're currently working on awesome Unfortunately, you started in like the worst possible spot. So let's bring you up on this hill, see what's over here. And then we're probably going to send you over in that direction. Uh, and then, yeah, like I mentioned, so we're going to probably go slinger, slinger, slinger as our start. Normally, I like to grab a settler, um, but slinger, slinger, slinger is really good if A, we have an enemy civ right next to us, or B, if there's a city state right next to us, because three archers and a warrior uh, are more than enough to take uh, out any early city, so... We also got a tech boost. Oh, we got a tech boost for sailing. Sailing, right? Yeah, sailing. Because we found our city on the water. I'm a little worried about this being super snaky. It looks like it might be pretty snaky, but hopefully it opens up here in a little bit. Well, hopefully we don't have anyone next to us. How about that? Also, either of these can go um, for our Oracle location. However, we will need the tech to tear down... Re uh, rainforest. So we need bronze working to actually chop you down. I don't think you can build a wonder on there. It's a good question. Can I build a wonder on there even though uh, I can't chop it down? Also, that's the edge of our island. Cool. At least on the right side, we know no barbarians spawned in that direction. So <laughs> uh, we'll take you over here. We'll go. Yeah, 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 we'll go probably here next. So two more turns. So at least we know which way we want to take our slinger. Um, also seems less likely we spawned on the same island as an AI. We'll see. We can always shift our start if needed. I actually think we're going to still keep popping out slingers. I could go for an early monument, which would be very helpful in getting up to mysticism. We do have so many freaking potential chopped, 
chop spots. If we went Monument Builder... Yeah. So then that means instead of Animal Husbandry, we don't have any mines. Well, the problem with chopping, though, is that gets rid of our production, which, okay, isn't all that great to begin with. But we could potentially chop one, two, three, four places. But if we chop all these rainforests, rainforests then we can't put a, you know, uh... I oh, know we wouldn't really want them over there anyways because we got two mountains right here so we can put the science district over here the campus uh, you know what <clears throat> I'm gonna be safe let's keep popping out slingers let's not be stupid I know we're playing on a smaller map and if there are no AI near us this is probably the wrong decision but I, I think we need to be safe uh, we may actually want an early settler a couple rivers up here this is really good spots uh, we found a city-state okay and it's a faith city-state so, yeah, we're definitely going to go kill you then. Okay, this will work out for us. This will work for us. We also got a free recon unit. I think I might want to put you over here. I think I might just keep them there. There's going to be a barbarian encampment up here, so that's why I think I want to keep my warrior up there. I think I want to put him over there just so the encampment doesn't spawn. Uh, I forgot what turn it actually spawns the next encampment in, but I don't want it to spawn on top of me, so we might just keep you for here. Actually, just bring you all the way to that coast. Uh, is that just a random tile? <laughs> That's a random rice tile. Interesting. Okay. Really potential city location over here, too. Although, if we put on the cattle... Let's see. One, two, three. We couldn't get there. If we put on the cattle, we could actually grab the fish. One, two, three. Yeah, but we may want another city somewhere else. One, two, three. Let's see what we may actually put one over on this corner. Not first. Obviously, what's going to be first is probably over here somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, found our encampment. Okay. I need you to not kill this guy, please. Please. Please run away. I need you to not kill him. Okay. I need you to not kill him, please. I need you to not kill him. Ah. <sighs> So then, let's go ahead and shift, and I think we're going to go grab a monument. Car is sailing. We can't grab you. We need irrigation for you. We can grab you, and we can grab you when we get mining. And we can also grab the cattle. And then we could potentially... I'm debating about a builder, maybe even a settler. Our size is okay. We're at size two. By the time we get the settler out, we'll be size three. Hold up. What's over here? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we definitely want a city over here. I think let's shift up. I think let's go... Nothing is going to give us... I think we're going to go monument into builder. Yeah. Because we want to get up to mysticism. I still think let's go ahead and try the oracle. I think our production is going to be fine here. It's at seven right now. The mine is going to give me two there. What current? What are we currently working? Mm. Mm. See, I don't want the money. Although that is giving me one science. Still think let's go for the food. I think I'd rather grow quicker. Yeah. Yeah. And the problem is when we tear down the forest, that's going to become a one two. We really don't have any stone or anything like that, which would be very good for us if we we're going for the Oracle. We might not be able to get the Oracle, the more I'm looking at this. I just don't know what turn the enemy AI builds it. Enemy sieves. Don't kill him. Oh, thank God. Woo. Sweet. Sweet. And we got military tradition as well. Uh, the thing is, I don't think I really want to go over here for military tradition either. A state workforce is nice because we can get uh, the production boost towards wonders. I also don't mind early empire because we get the governor and then we can get the boost towards settlers, which is nice too. So let's keep you here. Actually, no, we need to move you back one because we want to make sure no barbarian encampment spawns. It might be too close to the city, but I still think I'm just going to keep my unit there. And the thing is, uh, we should actually start moving you back. 
And I think we're going to keep you here. Because uh, we're going to eventually want to make both these guys archers. Oh, speaking of which, then that's why I should have grabbed another archer. Yeah, 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 Brian, because we can go take Gira then. Yeah, forget the builder. That's fine. It's not wasted. Kind of is, but it's not super wasted. It's so then in that reason. case, let's do this. Let's move you out over, put you on this hill. Let's move you over and start exploring. We'll bring you in this direction, and we do, we want to keep you somewhat close to Yervin. Uh, so then, I think once again, we're going to go for foreign trade. Hopefully, we can find ourselves a second continent. I would love to get the uh, God King. Um, we're already getting plus one faith per turn. Now we're getting plus three, which means we're going to have a Pantheon really early on, uh, which is going to allow us to produce units quicker, but we probably are going to take the Pantheon to build wonders. It's divine. Well, divine Spark would also be good. If we're going for a culture of victory, I think we maybe should grab Divine Spark then. You're going to come up here, and you're just going to keep an eye out. You go check out that. Sure. We have enough time to go over there. We'll want to kill his units probably before we actually move in on the city anyways. We got two turns left in the Slinger. We got two turns left on the Archer. Which means, really, we can probably move you out. Yeah, because you're going to take a couple turns to get through here. So, sure. And we'll move you down over in this direction, back again. It looks like we're on an island to ourselves. Not sure what's over there, not sure what's over I there, but it looks like there. we're by ourselves. So, we are going to upgrade you. Maybe should have moved him first? <laughs> yeah, probably should have moved him first. Because uh, I could have upgraded him next turn. Mining, yeah. Sailing would also be good. Because it's going to allow me to get a galley early on. I think let's grab mining because I think next we'll want to grab a archer or a builder. I actually would rather have him finish the slinger first. Yo, you can stay there. We might actually just go declare war on these guys because we can start shooting his units even though we don't have the third archer yet. Let's see if we can get into position. And there's our pantheon. Cool. So we want to grab the other one would be we do have a couple camps. There's more cattle up there. What do you have over here? You don't really have much of anything over there. It's kind of a crappy spot. Hmm. So maybe not that one. So Divine Spark gives us plus one great person points from holy sites, uh, campuses and theater squares. What else do we potentially have? Is there anything about jungle tiles? Wasn't there something for jungle tiles? Let's see. Holy districts, amenities, classical era wonders. The wonders might be good, but... Mines, eh. Eh. God of the Forge is also really good. I think we're going to grab Divine Spark. We're going to have a lot of faith, which, you know... Okay. But actually, our, most of our face is going to disappear as soon as we declare war on Yerevan. <laughs> uh, should I attack him now? Let's skip. Cool. Cool. Alright, well, we got Scythia right next to us. Not that that's scary at all. Yeah, no. No, nothing to be scared of here. So... It looks like she's actually coming to declare war on Yerevan. I actually can't do that, because if she declares war, I'm uh, when I declare war, I'm going to be forced out. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, builder or settler, then? I'm thinking more and more, like, we're not going to be able to get... I think we need a settler. I don't think we're going to be able to get the oracle. And we have divine spark, so it's going to be about the same. Yeah, she's totally declaring war on Yurovin. Let's move here. Let's move here. We're going to keep taking you out this way. We found Preslov. Okay. Are we the first ones to meet you? Hmm. What? Was She likes me? Nah, not really. <laughs> she sent me a delegation, but she doesn't like me. For unknown reasons. They actually... Whoa, whoa! We're actually trading together. Okay. Okay, were we the first one to meet you? Uh, no. Scythia actually met you before me. Hmm, huh. alright.
I think we declare war. She mad at me about that? I think she's mad at me about that. Yeah, she dislikes people to declare surprise wars. I mean, it's a city state, so I can't really not do a surprise war. So, <laughs> eh, that's fine. That's fine. I don't think we're going to expand all the way up there. Uh, okay, so we finished mining. So let's go grab sailing. Next, if we're going to put you up here. Got a national wonder. Sweet. Uh, plus two faith, plus one gold. Hmm, that's fine. Ooh, pretty hut. Okay, okay. So he's going to move here. Uh, actually, he's going to move there, but he's going to die this turn. He does have a slinger there. But that slinger is not going to be able to do much to me. We're going to move you here. We could attack in. I think we're just going to sit there and fortify. And really, I'm just kind of making sure Yurvin uh, doesn't fall to Scythia. I actually feel like they were coming to declare war on it. Scout actually got promoted. Right? Uh, or did we get plus one pop? No, I think it was, I think it was the promotion. So move through forest. Let's promote you to move through forest. Unmet sea state. Yep, there he is. She declared war now. Well, we knew that was coming. So, can I... I'm going to have to jack it. That's going to be uh, our goal here. Crap, he can actually move out and attack me. But if he moves there, I'm going to be able to shoot him twice. That's going to be okay. Uh, I don't want to attack you. I want you just to stay there. That's fine. I love how... Were we the first to meet Hatsuya? No. Dang it. Uh, I love how she's mad at me for declaring a surprise war, but then she went and declared a surprise war. You know, not at all ironic so you're gonna get killed you're gonna get killed you're gonna get up here probably move you here so you're protected and then move you here and let's move you down here let's see what's over there and then we'll come up and then come explore through that direction okay next turn uh second city is gonna go down up here yeah actually right here because we can do a, a canal city so we want you here and then you're gonna shoot Yurvin. We don't want we we got to be a little careful in our damage because um, I don't want to hit Yurvin so much then she's able to come take it. Although she's pretty injured. Speaking of which, might be okay. She doesn't like me right now, but that's fine. Come over here. Next turn, move, shoot, move, shoot. City's definitely gonna fall. Keep doing damage to it. I appreciate it. Uh, that hurt. Not that I think we keep going for Yurvin. But go there, I can't. I think I have to shoot here. Yeah, I have to hit him so that he can die. Uh, we can do quite a bit of damage. Once again, I want to keep you at full HP so we can jack you. Um, writing irrigation. Irrigation, probably. Because we have the bananas. Yeah, irrigation would be really good for us. We need a farmer resource. How much money do we have? 137? Okay, we'll want to get a builder here pretty quick. Probably as soon as we finish the settler. Interesting. So, uh, is this all one continent? Yeah. Well, that sucks. And hopefully the continent isn't actually Pangea. Okay. No, we're good. We can definitely kill you. Can I take the city? Yes. So let's shoot. And then we got Yurvin. Okay, cool. Our city. Thank you. Keep. Now get out my land, Scythia. Uh, and then we're going to go straight for a builder. Uh, I think both of these guys are level. Like, I think both of them, yeah, both of them can get leveled. Cool. We got a boost for state workforce. Why? Building a specialty district. Oh, because <laughs> they have a holy site. Huh, interesting. I don't really want the holy site, but cool. Thank you. <sighs> I guess we want to go with a monument once you get your production going. And then our second, our third city is going to come up over here. Yeah. So we're going to have three cities down pretty early on. That's good. We're also going to block her off from moving over here and grabbing these two guys from us. So I'm pretty happy with how this is working out so far. 
I think we're off to a great start. Someone finished Stonehenge. Yep, Archer units available for promotion. Two city-states got defeated. One of them was ours, was Yerevan. And then we got a boost, cool. Now the question is, is she gonna immediately declare war on me? I would not look past that. Let's get you into the city, get you healing. Let's get you freaking boosted. Let's get you on the hill. Let's get you healing. Uh, we have three archers, so he's she's not going to be able to beat me if she uh, goes and declares war on me. It's going to be a little painful, but I think we'll be fine. We also may have enough money to buy another warrior. 160. So we might do that in a couple turns. We should also be paying attention to what we're working. We're working you, you, and you. Just make me a little extra gold. Why are you not working here? Why are you working the turtles? Because you're giving me one science? Forget the one science. Give me two gold. <laughs> I mean, one science is nice, but not that nice. Where did the encampment spawn, by the way? Ah, uh, we found it. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let me move you over this way. Let's go explore up here to the north. Uh, I'm just going to ignore down there. Oh, wait. Hold up. I see borders. <gasps> Uh-oh. It looks like Zulu, honestly. You're coming up over there. You are going to promote. Yeah, we have two freaking fully... Uh, we have two promoted archers. So, if Scythia does declare war on me, it's going to be a bad day for her. I almost want to put myself up on this hill. Okay, I really want to put myself up on this hill now. We'll go here first. Ancient Era ends in 10 turns. Oh, God. Well, we're about to get... Uh, that's a really quick one. We'll go here. I think we'll meet whoever's down there, which can give us uh, something else. We will also have another city. So, yeah, no, we won't be in the Dark Age. Do we want to go for mysticism? 13 turns. I just don't think we have enough production to grab it. I really don't. I think we're way far behind on it. I want to look, dang it, I want production. Temple Artemis is 23 turns. Uh, Temple Artemis is 180 production. You are 290. So it's going to be like 40 turns for us right now. So our production just is not good enough to actually build that early wonder. So in that case... Oh, actually, yeah, we can flip you up. Uh, two gold or plus production. Let's do plus production because I don't need faith anymore. And um, I don't think I want to produce out units right yet. Actually, Nibblians. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm good with that. Because we want to pop out a, um, a galley here in a second. So, we have slightly better production now. Still going to be really terrible, the amount of turns it'll take. So, yeah, I don't think we want to go there. I do want to grab this monument, though. Uh, let's see. Next. Archer. Fortify. Fortify. Better move away. Put you up here, because this is a little more defensible. Okay, I can dig. Before Saladin. Okay. So he's going to go religious. So he's probably a little mad. Why did I click the wrong freaking button? I clicked the wrong button instead of saying, hey, I would love to see your capital. I clicked the other one. Uh, 22 turns. Uh, I mean, is it that big of a deal? I don't think it's that big of a deal, just because I don't see where his capital is. Uh, I was like, can I reload? Your delegation is welcome. I actually will no send matter. you one, too. Thank you. As if there would be. I think... Grab a builder, or I could... Mmm, trader. I kind of want to grab a warrior, not going to lie. Galley's 260. Hold up. Let's see something really quickly. She's moving away. I'm debating about actually declaring a war on her. The downside is now, see, we, it would have to be a galley. Because I can only hit her with one freaking uh, warrior anyways. God, she's on a weird tile, man. 
Where was... Uh, came from England, yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes me, which is very surprising. <laughs> AI never likes me in this game. How much is a galley? 260. I think we're going to save for the 260 galley. We finished the builder. What do we want to work on first? Uh, so we have the 221. That's going to be a 231. And then we go up here and get a 31. And then go over there and get a 323. I think so. Yeah. If we're going to go for the wonder, it might be a good idea. Are we? Why are we still doing mysticism? I thought we were going to switch you up. I just don't think we have the production to do this. I mean, maybe because we're going to get three more production there. And we could get another builder. Who can then start tearing down forest. Uh, I hate it. I freaking hate it. We could also grab a trade route. Here's the other thing. So, okay. Okay, so we'll have ten turns right now. Ten turns. In ten turns, we're going to be able to most likely produce a trader and a builder. The builder is only going to be for tearing stuff down. So let's grab the trader because we can send them to Eurovin or our new city, both of which will hopefully give us more production. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. And also, too, we're going to gain three more production, too. So we need what? One more. We need two more points. What? Meeting him only gave me one point. Oh, that sucks. I got trapped. Uh, we're actually going to die because this war is going to get us. Oh, that's so annoying. Leeds didn't give us any points either. Hmm. Get a monument over there. Because we're going strong in the culture game. Uh. I did the wrong freaking button. I clicked there. Mm, that makes me mad. So we're actually going to just block him. Yeah, I'm just going to straight up block him so he can't so she can't move her units through here. Uh, she might be able to put a city up there, but I don't think so. Yeah, she just put a city right there. Uh, OK, that's a good question for us. Can we shoot over hills? I don't remember. We can definitely take her on. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna declare war on her. She kind of served um She made it very easy to actually come declare war on her. I mean this city right here is gonna be super undefended, other than these warriors and stuff. And we have so much defensible area here that I think we'll be fine. We definitely still want that galley. When we get to 260. Uh you are going here next. And then you're going to go there next. We're at three turns there. We're at six turns there. So our culture did go up uh, ever so slightly. Skip. We should probably wrap this episode up. We're at 26 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hate how slow you are. Put you here. Put you here. Okay, so if... One of his units is there, we might just straight shoot him next turn. I think let's fortify you. Let's get a little bit of fortification bonus. Let's actually move you here and we can fortify you up and then we can take a good shot at any one of these guys next turn. So we can shoot him once. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. That wasn't really when I wanted to do it, but all right, there you go. There you go. Unfortunately, we aren't going to get the kill. We can shoot the city. Yeah, this is such a bad spot for them because they're only going to be able to come at me one at a time. If he goes up there, he's going to die. So I definitely want to come here and I want him to come attack me uh, versus vice versa. Is he care? He doesn't seem to care at all. First impressions of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so we're fine there. Okay. Okay. So we declared an early war in Scythia. That doesn't seem like it's going to come back to bite us at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Once again, we definitely want the builder, which is down to six turns. Hmm, our production is not going the way I wanted. 
Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I should grab irrigation versus the cattle. Uh, the bananas, rather. Yeah, I should have grabbed them second. Okay, so we're going to come and grab the bananas instead. We'll see about um, building the Oracle. And I think, yeah, I think let's wrap this episode up here. Civic craftsmanship, tech boost wheel. Why did we get these? Minor resource. Okay. I was wondering if it's because I declared war on someone I got a boost. But anyways, hope you guys are enjoying. Since this is a brand new series, all the support you guys can show it is awesome. So definitely hit the like button, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know any suggestions you guys have. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. I'll see you in next episode. Let's see. Um, our goal next episode, number one, we got the trader. We're gonna try getting our production up here in London as much as possible. Uh, I would very much love to get the Oracle. I don't think the Oracle is gonna happen though, but we might as well try it at this point. It just, it might screw us late game. But here's the thing. If we come and take over both of her towns, we're not behind anymore. We're actually in a really good spot uh, comparatively to where you normally are this early in the game. Speaking of which, hold up, I'll bring you over here. I actually have a road between these guys. Uh, I don't think I'm going to come conquer them. We do have a lot of room over here to grow as well. Uh, probably end up throwing a city down like over here. Maybe I want to throw a city way over here just to start getting some... Is this still all the same freaking continent? Man, okay, if there's any downside, it's the fact that we're only in one continent right now, so... But anyways, yeah, yeah, so I definitely think we're going to try for the Oracle. If not, we're definitely trying to get our production up here as much as possible. Having a builder over here isn't the worst thing in the world either, because uh, we can definitely send him to our other cities, uh, and we definitely have some builds around there that um, need some love. My gosh, it's a 3-3. What are you working you're working the 3-3. I'm okay with that because I want the galley. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the lack of production right now. What are you working? Unfortunately, we may just want to rush out of Petra <laughs> just for Eurovin. Um, yeah, you just have such terrible tiles. may want to buy the stone and come get the stone working. So we have really terrible production in all of our cities right now, but I think that'll be fixed. Also, too, Kublio, uh, Ku Kuoba? This is going to also have really bad production, too. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that'll be next episode. So I will see you guys then. Later.